Welcome viewers to today's class. The topic of discussion is the, the formation, structure, and functions of the government of Kenya. And the station you're watching is Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel, where we always get to watch and learn. Your tutor is Roger Michira, ready to take you through the form free topic. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, the structure and functions of the government of Kenya. In that topic, we'll first get to introduce the electoral process. Remember, we cannot have a government without going to elections, right? So the first thing we're going to look at today is the electoral process. What are some of the, of the principles and what are some of the conditions necessary for one to be registered as a voter? Welcome all and let us learn. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the principles guiding the electoral process, right? And also get to outline the conditions necessary for one to fulfill to be registered as a voter in Kenya. Now, can we get to start, get to know what the electoral process is, right? What is this electoral process? And one thing we get to know about the electoral process is that it is a way in which elections are conducted in terms of the body responsible for elections and the roles and principles guiding the process. What, what does this, this mean? Now, when, when, we get, when we are getting to talk about the electoral system and process, so there is a way elections are conducted. This is a way elections are being held, right? And who is this person in charge? Or rather, uh, which is this the, the, the body that is responsible for holding elections? And what are some of the roles and principles of this, uh, or rather guiding the process? And one thing, again, another thing we get to know about the, 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 the elections in Kenya is that the elections are held on the second Tuesday of August every five years. This is as per the 2010 constitution. Remember previously, we used to hold our elections at uh, uh, 26th uh, December, right? But uh, immediately after the 2010 constitution, elections now were held uh, the second Tuesday of August after every five years. Now, during these general elections, registered voters, they cast a ballot, those only um, uh, voters who are registered, they get to cast a ballot, right, for the president, for the MP, for the senator, for the governor, members of the county assembly, well known as the MCS, and also the women representatives, right? Now, those are the people that are elected. Now, w when you go to the, to your, to your, to your uh, the ballot booth, right, you get to first elect, there's a, uh, there's a ballot box, you can see that, right? Good. You can see those boxes, right? You can see the first box is of the president. So as you're going to elect, you must have to elect the president, then followed by a senator, right? Who oversees the, 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 the county. We get to look at the functions of a senator. Then you get to elect a governor, right? Who is the, the president of, uh, or rather the, 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 the CEO of the county. You get to elect the member of parliament. You get to elect uh, the women representative from each and every county. Then finally, you get to elect the member of county assembly, right? You can get to see that, right? Those are now the ballot uh, boxes. And one thing, again, you must have to note about voting, it is always um, uh, always in a, in, in a private po uh, uh, point. Eh? Rather, we, we have the, the, ballot, the ballot booths, right? It is confidential. None is allowed to vote for anyone. Now, can we get to look at the principles guiding the electoral process? What guides the electoral process? One, freedom of citizens to exercise their political rights, right? Each and every citizen, registered voter, has that freedom, has that right to exercise their political rights. Meaning you, ca you have the right to choose your president, your member of parliament, all, all as you move down, down the, the hierarchy. Then again, not more than two-thirds of same gender should be elected in an elective post. That is why you saw they introduced the issue of a women, a women representatives, just to make sure that the two-third gender rule is, is achieved. But however, in Kenya, we have not achieved that two-third gender rule, right? We have been having laws in the, in the National Assembly for a while, right? Still, they haven't agreed on how the two-third gender rule is going to, to be to be to, to be carried out and uh, and also there is fair presentation of uh, sorry there is fair representation of people with disability right as we are electing we have got people who are the, the, the people with disability right they are also represented in the in the in, in the constitution and also free and fair elections conducted to secret uh, ballot free from violence intimidation and corruption there is secret ballot 
right? You go to your uh, ballot, ballot booth, you get to cast your vote in, in secrecy. So no one is uh, allowed to vote for, for another if, unless and otherwise they are of age. And also, independent and transparent elections are administered in an impartial, neutral, and accountable manner. So the elections should be independent and also transparent. Uh, transparent. But however, again, you must get to know that um, for a number of times, we have not been having transparent elections, right? That is why we have been having uh, electoral, electoral violences, right? The post-election violence, because it is deemed that the elections have not been uh, transpa uh, transparent. Now, can you get to look at the rights? or rather the conditions for you to be registered as a voter. What should, you, what should you meet? What conditions should you meet for you to be registered as a voter? One, one you must uh, be a Kenyan citizen. For you to vote, you must be a, Ke a Kenyan citizen. And you know how, what it means to be a Kenyan citizen, either by birth, uh, registration, right? Then also, you must have to, to attain 18 years of age and above. That is, that is you m for you to get an identification card to vote or rather to register as a voter, you must be over 18 years of age and above and also be sound mind right you can't you can't you can't tell an insane person to register as a voter right it's only those people of good sound mind and also they must not have been convic convicted of an election offense in the last five years now those are some of the conditions one needs to to to, to achieve right for you to be to be to be registered as a voter now for uh, class for uh, for our task for assignment can we get to state the principles guiding the electoral process and also name some of those conditions that one has to fulfill in order to be registered as a voter in Kenya? For more reference, get to refer to Evolve World, History and Government, Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And the seventh edition, you must get to know that it, it, it is the one that um, has the 2010 constitution, is the, is, is the latest edition of the Evolve World, History and Government. And for, for more lessons, get in touch with us via contact address, Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel.